everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy and this is Dino Budgets. Over here we're focusing on large savings on a small budget, just like our friend Mr. T-Rex tries to live his life with a large head and small arms. And guys, I have got some exciting content coming up. I've got a new video coming up after this one talking about why I use my credit card, how I use it, and what I use it on. Okay, so as many of you know, if you are returning, that I do use my credit card to pay for expenses, and then I unstuff to pay it back like we're going to do in today's video. But I just wanted to give you a little bit more insight, and just wanted to give a big shout out to Jeanette Taboda. Please forgive me if I mispronounced your last name, but you sent me some great questions on budgeting and some things for beginners. And so I'm going to have a couple of videos coming out to answer those questions. So thank you to you. And before we get into unstuffing all this guys and all this crazy spending for the past week, we have to see what T-Rex is trying. So remember, no matter what type of day you're having, at least you're not a T-Rex trying to play rock'em sock'em robots <laughs> oh the sheer frustration on his face just did me in today <laughs> all right guys let's get into it so if you're new welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back i hope you would consider subscribing and joining the dino budgets fam i would love to have you and we definitely have fun over here doing all things budgeting. So today we're going to be unstuffing what we spent for March 27th, or I'm sorry, February 27th through March 5th. So let's go ahead and quick get a total on some of these. We have bills for 27 and 61. So a total of $88 spent in bills this past week subscriptions we had 74 for my amazon prime i am a student and so i do get the student rate right now and i actually caught it right before the new amount came up i was set to resubscribe on a monthly subscription and i noticed that if i went ahead and selected the year i was actually getting the old rate compared to the new rate so i figured one more year at the hat lower rate before the price gets jacked up again I might as well do it. So we had 74 there and then 56, oops, 74 and 56 for 130. And that 56 was for a P.O. box, you guys. I'm so excited. I finally have a P.O. box and I just, I don't know. Happy mail to me is fun. And so I love sending things out. So you know, with St. Patrick's Day coming up, if you want to send me a St. Patrick's Day card, I would love to send you one back. And so I do have that listed in the description below. Along with another fun excitement, guys, I became an Amazon affiliate. It's something I have thought about for a really long time, and I've had a few people asking me about what products I use to budget with. And so pretty much anything I use to budget or anything I use in my videos, if it's from Amazon, I have it linked below. Again, an affiliate link just means that I get credit for you clicking on it and potentially buying. So if you buy, it doesn't cost you any more, but it makes me, you know, like 50 cents. <laughs> but still, anything is something and we are saving towards a new car. So I am just trying to reach in every little way possible that I can try and save for that. So I would really appreciate it if you'd consider using my links. And if there's any link missing or any item that I budget with that you don't see that I have listed, please leave me a comment. I would gladly give you a link and go search for something for you. All right, so moving on to Barney, our little rescue senior. He's actually a senior dog. He, let's see, we had $15 for some new bowls and 67 for food. For a total of 82 now that's a lot of money for food I went ahead and got like a big I think 30 pound bag so that should last me like six months or more for him since he is small 
Next we have spending, or for some reason I wrote down shopping, <laughs> probably because I did so much of it. We have six and 14, so $20 for spending this week. Entertainment. I did a month of Peacock in order to have a girls day with my mom and watch the new Marry Me video without having to watch any commercials or anything. Has anybody else seen it? Did you enjoy it? What'd you think? I just thought the combination of JLo and Owen Wilson would be an interesting watch and it was. <laughs> so we have $11 for that. I have already canceled the subscription. I figured this was cheaper than both of us going to the movie theater and getting a bunch of popcorn and, you know, snacks that we didn't need and spending $30, $40 just to go see a movie. Now, don't get me wrong. I still love going to the theater, but I'm very picky about what I deem is worthy of spending the money on to see in the theater. For example, of course, the newest and last installment of the Jurassic Park series is coming out. <laughs> That's sometime I think this summer and I will for sure be seeing that in the theater. Any type of good action film like that or a really in-depth musical I just feel is worth spending the money on but a chick flick like this where I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not I didn't want to waste $30-40 <laughs> at the theater. So we had the $11 for that and then we had a little bit of leftover here um, we've been doing really good with our eating out. Hubby's only done it a couple of times when necessary, like with his work schedule and stuff. And, you know, I've been sticking to my meal plan, but I have had a couple um, cheat meals and really they're not what used to be a cheat meal for me. Like, they just aren't. I Even if I'm going out, I'm trying to look for something healthier, but I know I will still like and that sort of thing. So I have eaten out a couple times with family where like I wasn't responsible for the bill. So that's why you haven't seen it in my, my write outs here for the weekly charges. But last Saturday, I did tell my husband, you know, I'm just, I'm really in the mood for a good piece of pizza. And I don't want to order a whole pizza because I know that would just completely derail me and I would eat way too much of it. And so I sent him up to Casey's, our local gas station that has awesome pizza, and told him I just want one slice from the warmer, and that's it. And that's what I did. So he decided to do Taco Bell. He didn't want pizza. <laughs> so we had a little bit of money left over and eat out. So the rollover is going to be a dollar from the entertainment envelope, and then my pizza and whatever other snacks or drinks he grabbed while he was at the gas station. So $6 there. So a total of $18 coming out of entertainment. Home repair. So I know I call my envelope home repair, but really it's anything like major home that I deem needs to come out of there as well. And we did start getting a water delivery system coming. Um, our water tastes horrible. I've filtered it. I've done all types of things. And I finally just decided I wanted five gallon jugs delivered to my house because it tastes better and I drink more and I need to be drinking a lot of water right now. Like <laughs> when they say drink half your weight in ounces while trying to lose weight, that's a lot of water for me. <laughs> so that is uh, 137 coming out of there. Now that is my first um, so many jugs with their deposit, the setup fee, and then I did order like a crock type system in order to dispense it. So that was for everything. My monthly charges from here on out are probably going to be rolled over into subscriptions and that will just be for the jug swap out. So that will be probably less than $20 a month. Hubby had just a couple spendings this week. He got some cookies for his old department at work because he is moving over to a new department so he just wanted to give them a little goodbye treat and what else did he do he had lunch out at work one day when he was running around and didn't pack one and i think that's it for him so yeah 21 dollars for the week it's crazy did you notice there's no treat yourself on here like i actually didn't spend anything but, you know, that's okay. I'm making up for it in this week. <laughs> uh, gas, $63 this week. I, yeah, we're just not even going to talk about gas. <laughs> and then eat out, we had just the $7 that I'm using towards hubby's Taco Bell dinner. So let's go ahead and grab a grand total for how much we spent this week.
All right, $566 if I'm reading that correctly. Whew. That was a doozy of a week for spending, that is for sure. So let's go ahead, we'll get this set off to the side here, and let's start unstuffing our binders for the pay. Let's start in my wallet and go ahead and unstuff anything in there. No groceries this week. Home goods, no. Eat out, yes. So in eat out, we have the five, six, and seven that we need to take out. We can go ahead and check that one off. And then let's flip back to gas. In gas, we need 63, so let's see what we got. We have 50, 70, 75, 76, 77. So I am going to take 77 minus 63. So we should have $14 left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw everything on over here and keep oh nope I do need the other one okay so if I throw that 70 this chain should be my 14 so 5 10 11 12 13 14 so 14 dollars not bad there's still money left over which is a good thing hopefully that will roll over to my savings challenges All right, that should do it for my wallet. I went grocery shopping on Sunday instead of my normal Saturday, so I will have to unstuff that just a little bit later, and I can tell you that's probably all gone too. <laughs> so let's go to the bills binder and see what bills we need to unstuff. So our first bill was our water bill and it was $27. And so let's see if we have change back here in my bills rollover for that 10. We do. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Of course, I need one more one. And you know what? I'm snagging it for my ones and fives. <laughs> I don't really track this. I just keep it in case I need change. And then at the end of the year or six months or whenever I feel like, I'll just do a grand total and then decide where I want that money to go towards at that point in time. But for now, it's kind of like my extra change or when I need more. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're gonna roll the 10 on over to here. Because honestly, the extra that's going to be left over from this is going to get rolled right back into that anyway. So we need 25, 6, and 7. Leaving us with 1, 2, and $3. So like I said, that literally gets rolled right back over into my bill rollover. And there we go. So I could take that dollar and throw it back in the envelope, but I'm not going to for now. <laughs> it's a dollar. I'm not going to worry about it. So that is part of our bills. We had one more bill, I believe. Yes. So we had internet and that was 61, 20, 40, 61. That one is the same every month. So I'm able to budget for it exactly where my water bill fluctuates. So we also need subscriptions. So subscriptions, we need a total of 130, and we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 15, 20, 21. So we have 121, and I do need another $9. So what I'm going to do is, let's see. Let's go ahead and take $20 out of bill rollover. Thought I had a 20. I did. Let's do it that way instead. Take $20 out and put the $11 back in. That will give us the $9 we needed 
And let's just put this. And so in our rollover, we still have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we still have $44 in bill rollover, doing just fine there. So subscriptions, we're going to go ahead and completely clean out with 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, and 130. All right. That is it for the bills binder. Moving on, we're going to go over into the you and me binder and hubby. We need $21. So let's see, we have 210. So I'm going to have to break one of these hundreds. So 100 minus 21, we are going to need $79 back. So 50, 75, six, seven, eight, this 210 is what he had minus the 21 so we should have 189 and of course I need another one so once I get another one from another envelope I will just go ahead and pay it back in here so that I don't forget so he should still have one I believe 88 150 70 80 85 86 87 88 so he has 188 I just owe him a dollar All right, entertainment. We need $18 out of here. And we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, I didn't realize I was short in that one too. So let's go ahead and take the 15. And you know what? We are gonna go back to the bills rollover just because I know I have plenty in there right now. And take out 16, 17, 18. So there's the 18. And I'm actually going to swap out five ones just because I like to keep ones in here to make change with for my bills. So one, two, three, four, and five. Right, so entertainment is covered. We're going to go back and throw that extra dollar back in hubby so he's all taken care of. Can't be shorting him any money. He's not much of a spender, so I want to make sure he has every bit of his money in there. And then I believe that is it for this one. Barney's in another one and spending's in another one. And home repair. So yes, we have two more to go. Next is our general sinking funds. So moving over to spending, we need to take out $20. That I do have. Now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 7, 8, 9, $80 left. And then Barney is in here as well. We need 82 for him. So 50, 70, and we're going to have to break another 20 here. So let's go ahead and take $90 minus 82. And that should be $8 back. So 5, 6, and 7. And again, I will owe him a dollar as soon as I have it. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. Plus the one will make 18 for him. And then home repair. Home repair or large home needs. We're going to take 137. So we're going to take 150 and break it. And it looks like I needed to keep those ones after all. <laughs> so let's just quick go back to our bill roll over again and see what we can do we can do five six seven eight nine ten grab a ten 
Ugh, all of them are nasty. <laughs> So 150 minus the 137 that we spent means we get $13 back. So 10, 1, 2, and 3. So we still have 1,000 in the bank and then 100, 110, 11, 12, 13. 113 left in that one or 1,113. And then before we do our totals, we do owe Mr. Barney $1 back. So we will sneak that in there for him. All right, so let's see if we did this correctly. We should have $566, 1, 2, 253, 320, 40, 60, 84, 420, 40, 60, 85, 520, 40, 60, 65, 66. All right, $566 going back to the bank to pay back to my credit card. Again, don't forget that if you want to see the next videos coming up, especially talking about how and why I use my credit card when I'm budgeting with cash, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way you will know as soon as that video uploads. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great start to your week and until we see each other next time, bye!